everything. Look, it's so petulant of her. Oh, that fine, that sweet, that delicate. Oh, oh, for love's sake, tell me if he comes. Oh, Sister Mill, though my father be a low-cap tradesman, yet I must be a lady, and I praise God that my mother must call me madam. Does he come? Off with it. For shame's sake, off with it. Let not my knight see me in the city cut in any hand. Tear it. Pack songs. Does he come? Tear it off. That's why she sleeps. A sorrowful oh, sister. Her with what an immodest impatiency and disgraceful scorn do you put off your city tire? I'm sorry to think you write to yourself in wronging that which have made both you and us. I tell you, I cannot endure it. I must be a lady. Do you wear your coif with a London licket, your, your stemmel petticoat with the two guards, your buffing gown with a tough taffety cape and your velvet lace? I must be a lady and I will be a lady. Oh, tell me, is he calm? Oh, oh Lord, what a long night it is. If ever she cried, shoot home. Yeah, I knew one longer. <laughs> if ever she cried, shoot home. Fa la la, ray lo la. Well, sister, those that scorn their nest oft fly with a sick wing. A oh, bow bell. Where titles presume to thrust before fit means to second them, wealth and respect often grow sullen and will not follow. Well, for sure, in this, I would for your sake, I spake not truth. Where ambition of place goes before fitness of birth, contempt and disgrace follow. Oh, alas, poor Mill. When I'm a lady, I will pray for thee, yet yeah, I faith, nay, and I'll vouchsafe to call thee Sister Mill still, for though thou art not like to be a lady as I am, yet thou art a creature of God's making, and mayest peradventure to be saved as soon as I. Does he come? <sighs> And ever and on, she doubled in her song. Fit it. <clears throat> oh. Oh. And does my Scott right? Does it does it clip in close and and bear up round? Fine as stiffly in faith. It will keep your thighs so cool and make your waist. So small, here was a fault in your body, but I have supplied the defect with the effect of my steel instrument, which though it have but one eye, can see to rectify the imperfection of the proportion. Oh, most edifying tailor. I protest, you tailors are the most sanctified members and make many crooked things go upright. How should I bear my hands? Light? Light? Oh, I know you're in the lady fashion. You must make all things light. Tread light, light. Eye and full so. That's the court amble. And has the court nayer a trot? <laughs> Nay, but a fool's gallop, lady. <laughs> <laughs> Boldness is, is good fashion and court-like. Oh, in a country lady, I hope it is, as I shall be. And how come you came no sooner, knight? Well, Faith, I was so entertained in the progress with one Count Eponoon, a Welsh knight. We had a match at Balloon with my Lord Wackham for four crowns. A baboon? Jesu, you and I will play a baboon in the country nights. Oh, sweet lady, tis a strong play with the arm. 
with arm or leg or any other member, if it be a court sport. <laughs> oh, so when will we be married, knight? I come now to consummate it, and your father may call a poor knight son-in-law. Sir, ye are come. What is not mine to keep, I must not be sorry to forego. Hundred pound land her grandmother left her, tis yours. Herself, as her mother's gift, is yours. But if you want aught from me, know my hand and mine eyes open together. I do not give blindly. Work upon that now. So you mistrust not my means. I am a knight. Sir, sir, what I know not, you will give me leave to say I am ignorant of. Yes, that he's a knight. I know where he had money to pay the gentlemen ushers and heralds their fees. I, that he's a knight. So might you have been too, if you'd been aught else than an ass as well as some of your neighbours. And I thought you would not have been knighted, as I'm an honest woman, I'd have dubbed you myself. I praise God I have wherewithal. But as for you, daughter... My mother, I must be a lady tomorrow. But by your leave, mother, and I speak it not without my duty, but in the right of my husband's, I must take the place of you, mother. Oh, and so you shall, lady daughter. And I have a coach as well as I too. Oh, yes, mother, but by your leave, mother, and I speak it not, with, not without my duty, but in the right of my husband. My coach horses must take the wall of your coach horses. Come, come. The day grows low. It is supper time. Use my house. The wedding solemnity is at my wife's cost. Thank me for nothing but my willing blessing, for I cannot feign my hopes are faint. And sir, respect my daughter. She has for you refused wealthy and honest matches, known good men, well moneyed, better traded, best reputed. Body of truth, shittison, shittisons. Oh, my sweet Naya, as soon as ever we are married, take me to thy mercy out of this miserable shitty. Presently, carry me out of the scent of Newcastle coal and the hearing of Bow Bell. Oh, I beseech thee, down with me for God's sake. 